The well bore is the actual hole that has been drilled. This includes the open hole being drilled and the cased hole section above it. Well control, sometimes referred to as pressure control, is all about controlling the pressure from the formation. When the well is being drilled, the pressure is controlled by the column of drilling fluid. As long as the pressure pushing down from the drilling fluid is greater than the pressure pushing up from the formation, and no pressure is seen at surface, then we know that formation pressure is being controlled. As we learned from previous modules, this is referred to as the primary barrier. The secondary barrier refers to the blowout preventers used if the primary barrier fails to hold the pressure. Whilst the well is in the production phase, the well pressure is controlled through the Christmas tree unless there are well intervention operations taking place. During well intervention, for example when using slit line or coil tubing, additional equipment is used to maintain pressure control. No matter what is happening with the well, be it drilling or well intervention, the primary barriers are there to prevent a blowout, and if they are ineffective, then the secondary barriers come into play. For the secondary barriers to be effective and stop a blowout, the equipment must be fit for purpose, and the people operating it must be suitably trained and competent. Any signs of loss of primary well control must be quickly recognised and acted upon to stop an event from becoming uncontrollable. As ever, prevention is better and easier than cure. Hydrostatic pressure is the pressure exerted by a fluid which is not moving. In fact, the word hydrostatic is derived from hydro, meaning fluid, and static, meaning not moving. Hydrostatic pressure is critical to well control. As we have already learnt, Primary well control is maintained by the provision of a column of fluid, the drilling mud, that exerts a hydrostatic pressure equal to or greater than the pressure contained in the formation. Let's take a closer look at hydrostatic pressure to get a better understanding of what it means and how it is used to control formation pressure, the pressure found within the formation. Hydrostatic pressure is the force created by a column of fluid which increases in proportion to the depth from the surface because of the weight of fluid above it. As shown in the diagram, the increase in pressure on the hull of the submarine is caused by the increase in the hydrostatic pressure. Therefore, the hydrostatic pressure exerted by a fluid is dependent upon depth. The same applies for a column of fluid in an oil or gas well. It is important to note that it is only the depth or height of the column of fluid that affects hydrostatic pressure, and that the amount or volume of the fluid has no effect at all. 